tell no one of this conversation. Or you will die. Jeremiah, are you all right? My friends, my fellow believers in the Lord Jesus Christ, our Saviour, was a sign. Did you see that wee bird? It's a barn. Swift. It's a swift. It's called a barn. Swift. Now, Fullerton Report, this is, I'm going to go full circle with a testimony. I'll just see, because he might come back, because he's been here a few times today. But I captured him, didn't I? I captured that little birdie. Okay, so they are a swift, they are a migratory bird. And the Lord reminded me that I have, I'll look out the window so you've got the view in case he comes back. Oh, there we go. So it started with the Fullerton report. Now, he, I will link this. He put up a a post about birds and I think hundreds of thousands or thousands I'm not sure the number you see on the link falling from the sky and it just happened to be above a military base you can still hear the bird can you hear it a military base and they just fell. So what the heck are they doing there? The biologists studied these birds. They said that 90 plus of them are in perfect health. And then they come back with a report saying that the reason why these migratory birds have died is because they haven't had, once again, it's the green gender. They haven't had the food, the insect life is dwindled and they didn't have enough food to make it back and they dropped from the sky of starvation but they had fat little bodies and absolutely no reason to have died other than what the heck are they doing on those bases so I did a wee google because the Lord has shown me these migratory swifts and I didn't know they were called barn sparrows or barn swifts until I did this google which is a couple of days ago there were some interesting things see all those birds there were some interesting things about the last year 2019-2020 people in England who, who who watch birds who know the and this is the people who live on the land we have common sense guys we know they know that these birds aren't around we are all the swifts and they are barn swifts they had them in their barns and now they are gone There were articles on the reason why, and they're trying to justify it, and yes, it probably is the reason for some of the deaths. But once again, we go back to military bases. Now, these birds 
have been caught on and killed on military bases because they put these nets up and the birds, the swifts, how they behave is they swoop down and very low and they go right over the waters. They're here on the west coast. They are here on the east coast over Christchurch as well, around the beaches outside of Christchurch. Now the first time I'd ever seen these birds, and this is why, so what, what I said is at the military bases they're catching these birds in nets and they're selling them to restaurants. So they're trying to outlaw this and they're saying this could be the reason for the diminishing numbers. So that little bird that we saw down there, that was one of them. My caravan is a swift. It is a swift. Now, when I was over there, where's my finger? You see my finger? Down below there is a road, and that's where I was in the Glory Hut, and it was in July 2018, where I had the vision, I shared it in my, either in part two or three of my testimony on where does my help, where does my salvation come from? I only shared a part of it. Now see the waters? So what I saw was the net in a vision. I saw this bush, this native bush, and I saw the waters moving on a lake and the Spirit of God, like in Genesis 1, hovering over the waters. This is the Allahim. This is A for alchemy that creates here, this natural realm was created through alchemy, which now we call science and physics and pharmaceuticals and everything else, they're twisting to cause this now transhuman agenda. That is hovering over these waters, and I didn't know that at the time, but I do now. That's what the Lord was showing me, and then I saw just the horizon of the bush, like this but it was close up now these are native trees this is not well this is regenerated this is the best example but there were native trees on the horizon but a tree was in there that lifted from the earth it lifted in and it was such a vivid picture it rose into the air now this was not a native tree it was like a um, like a big maple or a, it was a it was a it was a it was a tree from some it was a import and it had a wide span and it was a, it was a be, it was beautiful in symmetry and its roots <clears throat> and its trunk was massive and it was in the ear so this in the air and it and its roots were as wide as its branches and there was dirt falling from it it was just such a graphic picture and color I saw now from that tree I saw birds flying in, in in pairs and in small groups and larger groups into the tree some nesting and I could tell by the way that they moved you know how when you walk a, watch a flock of birds how when they change directions you can sort of see like a shade flip they were moving and flying flying in and out of this tree that was above the ground it was off the ground in the air now that's when the lord had me scribe a word that that tree was me and where there, where there are more, I, I really don't. So that's a swift there in the, in the air there, just flew past. It's the way they fly. They fly different from fantails. It was me and I scribed a word, but if I find it and the Lord leads me, I, I'll read it. But, but what's important is it was here on, it was here on this land. It was here in this land, Aotearoa, and the long white cloud New Zealand here but it wasn't from here this tree was foreign it was foreign and the bird now I'd never seen this bird but I knew that I knew it because of a hawk 
Falcon, there's two types, <clears throat> but I knew, I knew the, um, the picture of this bird, I knew what it looked like, and it had a pointy wing, it was, it was a swift, oh, look at that, I don't know if you guys can see that, look at that, is it, am I filming it? So it had a pointy wing. And then that day, an old fella called Jack um, picked me up. We went for a drive to Moana, which is that, that direction there. On the other side. And there is a big lake there. And as I was driving, I, I'd only just seen this vision of this lake and the water. And I looked at the lake and I thought, that's the lake or the water, the way it's moving. That's what I saw in my vision. And then we come into a, the plains area where, um, you know, there was no native bush. They're just green grass grazing for, for dairy. And I saw these birds just like in my dream or vision. And I said, what are those birds, Jack? He said, they're swifts. He said that they're, I've heard, I was told they were from, they were Italian. And they fly in here at this time of year, every year. And so this was 2018 at this time, you know, September. Yeah, June, July, September, August, around those, those times. And they come here and nest. So that was the first time I'd even noticed these birds. And the Lord showed me them in a vision first. Now, that on the tree is see that on the that is just is that a swift let's watch it i think it is there we go see it flying see it fly that's them that's my swift i haven't had it around this is the first time it's been around i've been hearing it and then i just put my phone out the window and filmed it for you and i was in the middle of watching jeremiah so what i'm saying is so the word of the lord that he gave me i'm gonna lo lose my window oh the word of the lord that he gave me was that i saw this I saw myself, and the Lord was showing me as this tree. The land, the land, this this land is, this land is unclean. The land is unclean. The whenua is unclean. Uh, many, um, the there's been the history of the land is not good in the Lord's eyes. Uh, there has been a slaughter of a people that the Lord brought here, the Waipaha, which are a mixed race. They were slaughtered here, and there they lived in the hills between here and the east and the east coast. Uh, they were taken out by a very uh, dem demonic uh, tuhuna witchcraft, very demonic people called the Ngāti Māmoi. So they're an extinct race, the Waipaha, and the Ngāti Māmoi are extinct now as well because then the Ngāi hunted them out and took them out and they are called um, Children of the Mist. They were very spooky people. That was one of the fallen angels who came to visit me. His lineage, his whakapapa, goes back to the Ngāti, Ma uh, Ngāti Māmoi. He's the one who sat and stuck his finger across his neck and said I could slit your throat can I can you how do you know you can trust me he manifest and stuck a nail in my dog's eye he was sent see like yeah there are gods here there are ancient gods on every land and every indigenous person has a uh, people group has bowed there bowed down and create and made idols of these gods these gods of creation animalism animism 
polytheism. The Lord has shown me those words. I had to look them up. Now that's why the tree is not in the soil. It's not of this earth. We are not of this earth. We are not from here. And that's the tree of life. And there's birds flying in and out and nesting. And this is the migration that the Lord said. He has an immigration policy. Now those that remain on the land that can stand in the glory, those that come in and out, just like those birds, Satan is broadcasting things about birds. That's why he's that's why there's the slaughter of the birds, the migrationary birds falling out of the sky. He can't stop this. He knows that the Lord's God's plans are being enacted now. He knows this. And they will come to the tree and they will be fed just like the tree of life. There will be creative miracles. We will see creative miracles on this earth. Like it's a foretaste of the garden that the Lord supplanted in his system on his earth that he created, that Allah had created. The Lord supplanted his man, Adam, and from his rib, Eve. And then the serpent, the wild Eve. And she fucked the serpent in a host body, I'm sure was very attractive. And they gave birth to twins, Cain and Abel, and that's why we are one up, one down. And we know what Cain did to Abel. And we know that Noah was pure. And we know how bad it was. And it will be as it is in the days of Noah. And that's what it's like now. And that's why we're at the end. And that's why we're hearing about the ministry of Jeremiah. And I, I don't want to speak anymore, but I'm not sure where we're at. We're at, um, uh, um, look at the numbers. Um, one nineteen nineteen. So I've got a little bit left on here. My camera is facing upwards. I'm sorry. But let's just play, just in case you haven't got time to watch the movie. Let's see what the Lord ha has done. And he stopped me here with a bird. Um, a swift, a barn swift. He's reminded me of my dream because I was thinking that I hadn't shared it. I, in, like, like I said in part one, two and three, I mentioned it, but I only mentioned the waters hovering, just hovering over the semen. That's how we entered the system, through the semen. That's how the angels enter. We, we were part of the insurrection. So I'm going to play some of this and see what the Lord has. I have granted you this audience, but it'll be your last. What is of such importance that you risk your life to see me? Obey, I beseech thee, the voice of the Lord which I speak unto thee, and your life will be saved. And the city will not be burned. So now you're speaking for the Lord again. Well, never mind, our armies are prepared. How can you continue to lie to yourself as well as your people? The truth is in the eye of the beholder. The word of the Lord which I speak to thee is the truth. The word of the Lord which you ask me to seek is silence! If God has something to say to me, why does he send you to tell me? Why would the Lord speak to you unless you've committed your life to him? I have! monument to the word of God. It is as my people desire. You are king. They look to you for leadership. You 
pursuit of your own pleasure, wealth, and power have taught the people to trust in false gods. You have led them to believe that the one true God is not enough. You have destroyed the kingdom God has promised. to you for your evil. Back to his cell. Yes, my lord. Come. See that he's no harm. That's not a mistake. The little swift me stopping talking about the tree of life that does not have its roots in the land we are in the world but not of the world we are exiles we are exiles we we have not roots in the land we had no part of this until the Lord redeems it, it's unclean, unclean. Have no part in any unclean thing that's been offered up to idols. This is relevant for every land throughout the world. The idols of creation, these idols, these gods, in the form of created things. The Lord doesn't touch it. It's filth to him. That's why the tree is in the air. And the birds don't touch the land. They nest in the tree, the tree of life. Do not eat of that fruit. It's too late for most of us, but those that have passed already but this is the time for us now that are still here this is a, this is the end time generation don't listen to the lies the lies of the people that say I'm doing this for my mokapuna I'm doing this for their children and their children they're wasting their time and they're not listening to the Lord the time is now it's over it's over the Jeremiah's are going to are going to be sent out. God did not promise you all the things that they lie from the pulpits. These false shepherds, these false kings. God did not promise you that you would have your best life now, but He did promise you that you would have joy. And it would be overflowing. And my life is like that. And that is what it's like to be 100% for the Lord. He is your strength and he'll be with you through it all. 
So choose today who you will serve. Choose today who you will serve. And just wait on the Lord, and he will rise you up on wings of eagles. Because you can't do this on your own. You can't. A yellow. Yellow. A yellow. No. We can't. 